it's your girl, Artasia Olivia. I'm so glad you guys are back for another video. So today's video is talking about how to choose the best Psych MP school and like picking the right program for you. So if you guys are interested in this video, stay tuned. So if you guys don't know by now, I am in Psych MP school. I've been a nurse for about four years and it's time for me to elevate and you know, it's time for me to stick with one specialty. I love psych and I've been in psych MP school for about a couple months now. I'm going into my fourth term, four out of 10 term um, for PMH and P school. Um, once I finish the 10 terms, I'll be done. So 10 terms is about five semesters. So each term is a quarter and I am at St. Thomas University. So I am trucking along and moving along into the program and I still absolutely love it. I love my school. I handpicked my school. Um, I went through so many different schools. I did so much research on so many different programs. Um, just trying to figure out which program was the right one for me. And I found my school and it just aligned with a lot of the things that I was looking for. So in this video, I'm going to tell you guys what you guys should be looking for when you're trying to choose a PMHMP program. And also, I do want to mention that like, I love my program so much when I was telling like my coworkers about it, why a couple of them applied to my school. So clearly they seen like how good my program is and clearly like they trust my judgment. And again, I've been in the program for a while now and I really, really love it. So I want you guys to love the program that you guys choose to and I want you to choose very wisely and look at a lot of different things. Um, so yeah, so we're gonna get into 12 different things that um, you should be looking at when you're searching for a second B school. Let's get it. And also I want to mention these factors are not in any particular order. I don't want this video to be too long, so we're just gonna hop right into it. So number one is the start date. Um, you want to see like when the program starts because there are a couple of schools, there are a lot of schools that have like rolling um start dates year round but majority or like half the schools don't have a rolling start date they only have like one start date in the fall or one in the spring maybe one in the summer but usually like the start date is um can vary from school to school and me personally i wanted to start the program in the summer and a lot of schools weren't starting then and i just didn't really want to wait and to the fall term so yeah so whatever start date works for you like there are some schools that may have been you know better or close to my school but the start date just wasn't it for me and i wanted to feel comfortable starting at a certain time so start date so yeah check that out number two is location so my school is in miami florida um but i currently live in atlanta georgia um because i'm all going online but we'll get into that um and i just wanted a school if it wasn't going to be in atlanta i wanted a school in a city that i was comfortable with my school has like a brick and mortar building um in miami and it has like class like people it's a real school in miami so it's not just like this vague like online school um so i like the location in miami florida you know i'm from jacksonville florida i went to school in tallahassee florida so i was just very comfortable with florida um it wasn't like too far and then like for graduation like i, I got this whole miami trip planned um written a mansion uh or a beach house and just gonna have fun take my graduation pictures in miami and i just love miami um so i thought that would be you know i love the location of my school so number three, online or in-person or hybrid. So you have to choose the setup of your um, school. Like what works better for you? Like are you an online type of girly? Are you um, a, more of an in-person, hands-on? 
or do you want to do both me personally i just wanted to do online i didn't want to go in person for shit. <laughs> i just wanted to do everything online and um online was just better for me even though undergrad like if you're doing undergrad i really recommend um going in person but this is masters this is graduate um, program, so like I'm already familiar, you know, being a nurse, you're familiar with a lot of the content. So I just felt comfortable going online. Um, I just wanted something convenient for me. So yeah, um, but there are some schools that are in person and some schools that are hybrid. So just whatever works for you, um, figure out like what format works for your life. I know a lot of stay at home moms wanna do online or a lot of like people that got things going on in their life and they need to work or whatever and it's hard to, for their work schedule to be flexible um it's better online so yeah choose which setup you like so number four clinical hours so this is a big one because um if you're going for your master's for a pmhmp program usually um some schools want you to kind of stay in the 500 to 700 range and I was in a lot of schools. I was like six something hours, 700 at some hours. And I've seen a couple of schools with 500 something hours. And my school was 500 clinical hours. And I love, love, love that. Um, it was like the least amount of hours because maybe sometimes you gotta pay these preceptors for these clinical hours. And um, we'll get into that actually. But the more hours you got, the more money you gotta pay. Or the more time you gotta spend outside of work and um i just didn't want to do that many hours if i could do a program who had the least amount of hours sign me up number five the course pathway um so you do want to look at and see what kind of classes you're taking because um some of the schools be having to take all the heavy classes together like two heavy classes together i know like the big three is like um farm patho uh, physiology and um health assessment and some people some schools are making you take like two of those at one time or um they're just making you take like hard classes with another hard class which i really really don't like uh, i like that my school most of the class like literally every class every hard class is paired with the easy class so it's like easy class hard class easy class hard class like it's paired like that and also look at how many classes you're taking um per term or per, uh, per quarter or per semester because you don't want to be taking a lot of classes at one time like the max my school will take um it's like two classes at one time and we're accelerating program by the way um we only take the, the most we take is two classes and then one time um no actually two times we have one class so that's not bad at all so look at how many classes you're taking look at like what classes you're taking with what um, just to make sure it balances out and you're not like, you know, killing yourself doing all these hard classes at one time. Number six, duration of the program. Um, like, is it accelerated? Is it a uh, traditional? Um, me personally, I wanted to get in, get out. Like, so my school is accelerated. Like, I wanted to like get in and do the least amount of time. Yeah, I know accelerated is a faster pace. Um, and which mean, which sometimes mean it's like harder. Um, but I didn't care. Like I did undergrad, I did a traditional undergrad. I would never thought I would have did accelerated, but um, accelerated masters is really not bad. Like we finish um, as little as 18 months, but I'm pretty much finishing in like 20 months, like graduated in 20 months. You finish in a little as 18 months. Um, like most schools it's about 24 to 30 months and I just kind of want to get in and get out. So it is quite accelerated and I'm just ready to get this over with. <laughs> so that's why I want something accelerated, but sometimes accelerated don't work for a lot of people. Like, so you gotta make sure like, is it traditional? Do you want your classes like drawn out? Do you wanna take your time? Do you wanna do part-time or full-time? Like you wanna see like the, um, the duration of the program and like if that works for you. I literally turned out some schools cause I seen like some schools was taking like 30 months. I'm like, why would I go to that school and it takes 30 months to graduate when I could just go to the school and it takes like 18, 20 months or 24 months or whatever to graduate. So, you know, look at that. So number seven, um, preceptors. So you wanna like know about like your preceptors 
ahead of time or like when you're applying for the program because some schools pick your preceptors and some schools don't most schools usually don't especially as like an online school but um yeah that's like the hardest part of um pmh and p school and like finding a program is like picking your preceptors and um i heard a lot of horror stories about preceptors like even if the school will supposedly pick your preceptors. I heard some some people still ain't get a preceptor in time and still had to wait because they didn't have enough preceptors. So it's just something where, you know, I didn't mind picking my own preceptor because like if you've worked in psych before, if you have connections, if you work at different locations and you know PMH and P, um, you know, psych MPs, if you know them, like, you know, connect and network, and that's how you find your preceptors. So, even though that was one like con I didn't like about my school, they didn't pick our preceptors, but you know, um, I didn't mind that. I'm actually in the process of picking my preceptors right now, by the way, which has been yikes. Number eight accreditation this is the most important thing you want to look at in your PMHMP programs is the accredited. If it's not, you just wasted your time. Um, so you want to make sure you go to an accredited school for obvious reasons. Number nine, any extra exams. So I see in a couple schools, they want you to take like some like mid term, like really big like exam. And if you didn't pass, like you pretty much get kicked out of the program. And I'm like, bro, we already got to take boards. Nobody got time to be taking all these extra exams that's not a part of the curriculum. Um, I forgot what school that was, but like, that's why I say look through the course pathway because some of them include like all these extra exams, like midterm exam, like like a big, like, not like exam for the course, but like just an exam for, to just test where you are, which is cool, but it's like, it's unnecessary. Number 10, grade requirements. This is another con I didn't like about my school is um, they want you to have an 83B or better in every course. And you can only fill one course one time, which is getting lower than an 83. Um, so you wanna make sure like you can actually keep up with those, um, those grades. Um, I haven't got lower than an 89 in the class so far. Um, I was making straight A's, but I just made my first B in psychopathology. But that's the conversation for another day. But um, yeah, some schools you only need like a 75 or higher, 80 or higher. Like you just kind of want to see like if it's something that you feel like you can keep up with. Number 11, cost. Obviously, you want to make sure you're able to afford your school. And if you're taking out loans, you want to make sure you'll be able to pay it back and those loans cover your tuition and cover your books and everything. Um, yeah, my school was about 30K. I seen like schools ranging from like 15 to like 70, 80K um, per, well, the whole program. Um, yeah, so 30K was kind of like right in the middle. Um, yeah, so you just kind of want to make sure like it's not like unnecessary costs. Um, the, the, the programs I've seen that was like 15K or whatever um, was in Georgia. It was in-state intu tuition and um, they they just, the start dates was off for me. Like I didn't want to start, I didn't want to wait to fall. So that was something, like I said, start dates. Yeah, I didn't care that it was that much cheaper. I just didn't want to wait that, that long. So that was that. That's why I didn't go to like one of those cheap schools. Oh, and also some of them were in person. Didn't want to go in person, so. Um, and then last thing, the number 12, the application process. So you want to see like if the application process is like smooth, easy, or is it like hard and rigorous? Um, I didn't want to go to school with a hard, rigorous application process, obviously. I heard some schools like want you to write a whole paper. They want you to do like a research. Um, they want you to do an interview with Estate, like, child, my school didn't have to do none of that. It was very smooth, very easy process. Um, you just had to give the forms that they needed. You had to show your grades, show, you know, that you're a nurse. It was just, like, very straightforward. 
um which i really like because nobody got time to be doing all this extra work and i'm not even in the program yet you know what i'm saying so definitely like again look at all of these things um from the start date location online or in person or hybrid clinical hours course pathway duration of the program preceptors accreditation and um any extra exams um grade requirements cost and the application process so these are all the things that are so important in picking a school or picking a pmhmp program in specific um you want to go to a really good psych mp program and you want it to be like you know worth your while and worth your money and worth your time so if you guys like this video please like comment subscribe if you guys want to know more about my school or if you have any questions about any of these things um please comment down below and i answer all of my questions i, I respond to every comment um yeah let me know if you guys started second p school where are you guys in the journey i graduate may 2026 so you know i'm super excited and ready to um start my new career